Hello and welcome to episode 331. We're going to run a command every n seconds when uh, to a player that's near an entity. So if I go and stand near this iron golem that is tagged with the tag monster, and I'm within five blocks, it's going to play the warden heartbeat to me. And only me. There it is. Yeah, that's definitely working. And if we move away, it stops playing. Okay, this one is in version 1.19, and this is a sort of a request from Jasper on the Discord, uh, who said, basically, can you play the Warden's Heartbeat when you're within five blocks of an Iron Golem tagged with Monster? Uh, I've made it so it plays the sound only to the player that's in within range, because otherwise, if you had two players, three players, four players, all within range, you're going to start hearing each other's heartbeat, and that's going to get a bit weird. And each player has their own timer as well. Um, so it stays the same between the sound playing. Otherwise, let's say you had a global timer. If you had two players there, it'd go up twice as fast. Three, time, three players would be three times as fast. Again, a bit weird. So it's all tied to the individual player. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. My bad habit. Let's get on and make it now. Okay, the first thing we want, as we so often do, is a couple of scoreboard objectives. So let's uh, put down some command blocks so we can put them in. Set up. Done. Pop that on there. Scoreboard, objective, add. And I want one which is going to work as a timer. So this will be timer. It's a good name for it. Done. And I'm going to control middle mouse, copy that block, put it down. Chain, always active. And this one is going to save whether the player is in within range. So I'm going to call it in range. So now we have two scoreboards. We've got in range and timer. The idea being, if the player has an in range score of one, then their timer is going to go up. And when their timer equals a value, we'll play them a sound. Okay. Better summon an iron golem, because that was the entity that Jasper wanted to use. So, can we fit him in there? Maybe his little legs will fit in there. One, hey, one, two, three, four. Summon Iron Golem four, and he's going to have a tag, and the tag is going to be monster. There we go. Oh, I'm stuck on the command block. Summon. Pop a button on top. Okay, do you work? Yeah, you do. There we go. Hello, monster. Right, let's get a controller. So, first of all, let's make it so... Let's do the in-range. Let's do the in-range bit. So, if I'm in range, I want an in-range score of 1. And if I'm not in range, I want an in-range score of... Well, I suppose anything but 1, but we'll say we'll say 0. So we can do that with one command. Um, let's execute as any entity or a player, sorry, at themselves and we'll store success as a score in that player in their in range if entity uh, type equals iron Golem tag equals monster and distance equals, I believe Jasper wanted between zero and five. So we just take away the zero, less than five. Okay, that's probably it. That's going to do. So if this is success, <laughs> I had a problem saying that word then. If this is successful and there is an iron golem within five blocks, we'll store a one. And if there isn't, we'll store a zero. Let's turn that on. Scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, in range. So we've got zero. And if I go close, one, far away, zero, one. Cool, that's working. Nice. Now, 
if we are in range, we want our timer to go up. So let's do that. So scoreboard, players, add all players whose scores equals in range equals one. So all players who are in range of a golem tagged with monster, we will increase their timer by one. Done. Let's, we know in range is working, so let's change that now to show the timer instead. Okay, timer is zero. If I get in range, it's going up. I get out of range, it's not going up. Cool. Okay. And we could probably make this conditional even better. Now, the only thing that's running is this one command. And if this one command passes, then it'll start doing the rest. Yeah, that's still going up. Okay. Now, Obviously, we don't want it to just keep going up. We better put a reset in there. We'll make this conditional as well. And I'm going to execute as all players whose scores equals um, timer equals 30 or higher, just to catch it if it does go higher. It shouldn't do. We will run scoreboard players set that player will set their timer back to zero okay done let's go and stand here yes so every time it hits 30 perfect and if that happens then we'll run this command block we will execute as all players scores equals and we'll say they are in range equals one and their timer equals zero because we've just reset it to zero at that player we will run i'm going to use play sound also you can put any command you like here play sound but jasper wanted to play the warden's heartbeat so play sound entity dot warden is it just called heartbeat it is indeed. There it is. Heartbeat. Played on the master channel. And we'll just play it to that player. Okay. Now the reason we're doing that is because if you had more than one player standing around the golem, you'd all be hearing each other's heartbeats, which would be really annoying. And that's also the reason why we're storing the timer on each player. If we had a global timer, then if one player went in, the heart, let's say it took 100 seconds, if there was two players, it would go up twice as fast and it would play every 50 seconds. But that doesn't make sense. So each player has their own timer and we only play the sound to them. And we'll play it out of their coordinates. Full volume, normal pitch, and minimum volume is zero. Which doesn't really make much difference because they can't walk away from themselves. So done. So let's go and stand there. There we go. Okay. Now we do have, if we walk away, the timer doesn't reset or anything. I don't think that matters. You go back, it just starts playing the sound again. So you can see we've got some easy modifications we can make. We can easily pick a different different monster or different mob. Type Iron Golem, tag monster, distance five. Very simple to change all those three things. And the other thing you might want to change would be in the third block if the timer equals 30. So we're doing every second and a half. Well, we could change that to half a second. That's pretty scary now, actually. There we go. Let's not do that. Okay. There we go. I'm going to set it back to 30. Done. There we are. So as we get close, within five blocks of the Iron Golem, who is tagged with monster, we will start getting the heartbeat sound. Nice. Okie dokie. That's it. For this one, I will see you later. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.